Patrick Stewart, United's general counsel, will remain in his position, but will also serve as interim CEO. Greenwood mutually agreed to leave United on August 21, after being arrested in January 2022 for attempted rape and sexual assault, which led to his suspension from the club. He was charged in October of that year but prosecutors dropped all charges in February. It was Stewart who led Manchester United's internal investigation into Greenwood and decided he should return, but Richard Arnold did not follow this recommendation. Previous reports suggested that the club was considering giving the star a second chance following an internal investigation. However, fan reaction and protests outside Old Trafford forced Arnold to reconsider his decision, and he sent Greenwood home. In a statement released in August, Manchester United said it recognizes the difficulties associated with resuming careers. In the club, they said his departure was the most appropriate outcome to the saga, adding, we will now work with Mason to achieve that outcome. Arnold added, this matter has generated strong opinions, and it lies it is my responsibility to minimize any factors that disrupt the unity we strive for within the club. The controversial striker. 21 signed a surprise season-long loan deal with La Liga side Jedif on transfer deadline day to end an 18-month exile. There is no indication that Patrick Stewart will bring Greenwood back. Arnold has been United's chief executive since replacing Ed Woodward in February 2022. He joined United in 2007 and moved into football, initially taking on the role of group commercial director. This comes as NEO Sports' Sir Jim Ratcliffe prepares to confirm his acquisition of a 25% stake in the club. Joel Glazer, executive co-chairman, said in a statement, I would like to thank Richard for his outstanding service to Manchester United over the last 16 years and wish him all the best in his future endeavors. We are fortunate to benefit from Patrick Stewart's extensive knowledge and experience to ensure interim stability and continuity as we begin the search for a new permanent CEO. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for the latest Manchester United news updates.